dear students today we are going to discuss about the next use case diagram for online ticket booking system so this is the the sample model we can apply it for for example train ticket booking or bus ticket booking or you can apply it for any kind of a ticket booking through online system right now i will explain one by one what kind of information i have added into that use case diagram right so in the previous video i clearly explained uh, that use case diagram for online shopping system and uh, the use case diagram for library management system so this is the third diagram which you can get some uh, good idea about how to draw the use case diagram for a uh, different concepts right now uh, just before uh, we design that model you have to think about that what kind of process which is involved in online ticket booking system as we know uh, that uh, the traveler is the main part of uh, to book the ticket and we have uh, whenever we book the ticket we have that verification manager and even to maintain the database as a database manager it's an another actor and the last one just i included uh, the admin to manage all kind of activities which is involved in online ticket booking system right and for the traveler it's uh, decided to book set of tickets first he or she has to check the availability of the ticket so that's the first use case of online a ticket booking system so once they verify the ticket availability then we are plan to book the tickets so first we are checking that availability so once if it is available next we move on to that uh, to book the tickets if it is not available then we will do some other uh, that uh, the process which one it's a suitable for uh, to book the tickets that's a different scenario right so if the ticket is available as a traveler decided to book the tickets so as to book the tickets is a second use case i mentioned here and what kind of uh, that information which is included in that ticket booking systems so for example the first one if he or she want to book the tickets they have to fill their personal details that's the name age and other number or some kind of basic information we have to enter into that portal right and so once we enter the personal details we have to also verify that the traveling informations where we are going or from uh, which location we decided to to book the tickets or uh, the date so all kind of informations which is involved in uh, traveling details right so once we uh, enter that personal details after that we have to also check the traveling information so this is the uh, second use case of uh, to book the tickets right and third use case whenever we plan to book the tickets uh, that a fare or payment it's the next most important part of uh, that use case model right so to uh, pay the amount or the fare for our ticket i mentioned few more use cases into that system so for example so that first one i use includes and extend the both cases for a ticket uh, that is a fare now the ticket fare or payment it includes sometimes the transaction may be as failed right so this is the one use case it include uh, the conditions i mentioned here and different kind of payments we can apply it for uh, to pay the ticket right so here we can use either credit card or debit card or mobile banking or internet banking or a wallet payment so this is the different way we can pay the amount for a ticket booking systems right so this is the second uh, the most important part of uh, the main uh, ticket booking system and third one once if it is successfully we book the tickets we 
made the payment and so once if the ticket is confirmed we can view the ticket details right whatever we booked so that details we can view uh, in, uh view the information so that's the third use case of online ticket booking system and the next one so whenever we decided to cancel the ticket so that's it's also most important part of uh, uh, the ticket booking system when we plan to cancel the ticket first we have to check that the book the tickets already which is uh, booked or confirmed by the traveler right so we have to check that information and it's uh, followed by we have we can apply the uh, that is a refund right so once we cancel the ticket uh, we have to apply for the re, uh, refund process and periodically we can check the status of our uh, that is a refund so this is the most important part and i mentioned as include uh, the keyword which i mentioned for to cancel the ticket and coming to that next one as your database manager it manages all the transactions and ticket booking informations into that uh, directly he involved in that uh, the server he is handling uh, the database and manages all the transactions which is involved in that online ticket booking system right now you have to uh, create that relationship a uh, between different use cases right so for the traveler he or she can eligible to check that availability can book the ticket can view that information or ticket and last one cancel the ticket so this is the relationship which i created for a traveler and for the verification manager once we apply the cancel ticket as a verification manager to verify that information whether uh, that the cancel cancellation is applicable or not so that the verification it's done by the verification manager and as i said as a database manager it's completely manage all the transactions and ticket booking informations and he or she is directly involved in uh, that uh, the database activities and at last as a admin can manage all that informations as a admin can uh, check the ticket availability can book the tickets view the tickets and cancel the tickets and even this uh, one more uh, association also you can create to manage all the transactions and the ticket booking by the admin right so this is the simple example for online ticket booking system even you can add few more informations if i mentioned if i missed here you can add it over your diagram and give that complete information which is involved in online ticket booking system i hope this video will helpful for some part of your uh, use case model and still if you have any queries you can post it in the comment window thank you thanks for watching